And of course, because we lost the bauble that uh, prevents us from getting poisoned, guess what? We're getting poisoned. Hey guys, and welcome back to RL Craft with me, Tenzin. and how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Today, I figured, you know, we'd take things a little bit slower than usual. Lots of, uh, gens up here. <laughs> uh, we did defeat the Ender Dragon in the last episode, which was awesome. Uh, yeah, I thought, it, I thought, honestly, I was going to die like a million times. Thankfully, I only died a couple of times and only lost a little bit of our loot, not all of our loot. But uh, what I want to look at today is it's a type of machine, I guess you'd say. It's a summoning pedestal. So it says uh, this this pedestal is able to create a constant summoning portal that will summon the selected selected minion. Some pedestals can be player owned and some not. So it's not that expensive to actually make. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and make it. Like that, yeah. Pretty easy. All right, so eh, let's just throw it down on the ground right there. Okay, summoning portal, perfect. Click on it. All right, uh, looks like it needs portal capacity, whatever that is. Looks like it needs some fuel of some sort, and and yeah, you can summon in quite a bit of stuff. I wonder if it's this is, list is based on what we know, uh, what to summon. So let's click, uh, let's go Aegis, and I think most machines require redstone, don't they? Um, that. Okay, there we go, we turned it on. Sit, no, defensive, passive, uh, aggressive. Cool, we can set them to everything. All right, so does it just summon one or is I wonder. Oh, no, there's two. Okay. I think... Nice. Doesn't break apart when you take it apart. Now, if this is what I think it is, like, if it summons that quickly, then uh, this thing could be OP. Because where I want to take this is to a place that we haven't been yet. Uh, yeah, we got enough redstone, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll switch when we get there. But yes, we're gonna go to the nether. <laughs> Every time I go to the nether, we are almost obliterated as soon as we get there. So, let's go through and hopefully we're not obliterated and we have a couple of seconds to set up. Um, nope. Nope. Okay. So far, not too bad. We've had worse, way worse. Actually, not even way worse, like a million times worse, I should say. I'm not sure what that was. But what I want to do is go like this. Put that there. Let's just fire this up. Put a lot of energy in it. Um, where am I thinking here? That's exactly what I was thinking. Where are you? There you are. Interesting though. Oh, there we go. Defensive, PvP on, or no, passive. Let's put them, let's set them to aggressive. So they head out and clear this area for us. All right, what do we get here? Projectile protection? Something in pitch black? Uh, I don't think so. You know why? Because I got these guys. Maybe I should move it a little further away from the portal? I don't know. There's a lot of them in here already. Like, look, one, two, three, oops. 
probably don't want to fall down there. But yeah, uh, it kind of looks like we actually got a really good spot for where our portal popped in. Okay, there's a belt down there. I think that's their name. Interesting, I don't- I haven't seen any pinkies. Yeah. I really shouldn't be running away from our portal, but this is just too tempting. <laughs> Alright, and we're hot, but not, you know, not crazy hot, which is great. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do, but... Hmm. All right, so we got some guys coming in. They don't seem to be doing their job all that well. They're doing, oh, there we go. So I do need to drink, but I do know that uh, the moment I put down, uh, put down the water in, I'm not sure if it's in here or just the stone that it's on. Like it all instant creeper, eh? All right, well we might just have to jump right up. Okay, maybe not. I will tr get a drink as soon as I can, you guys. I'm sorry about this. Okay. I can't see anything. All right, so we got up into the dungeon here. Uh, our portal is still going crazy. As you guys can see, we do have some Aegis kicking around. They're not super close, but they're close enough. Uh, and our shulker box is already full of stuff. As you guys can see, it's actually pretty cool. You can uh, put your cursor over it and it tells you exactly what's in there. Um, and 11 more. <laughs> So, let's see what's back here. Nothing, really. Obviously, there's lots of noise going on here. Uh, let me heal up a little bit. I don't think I brought enough uh, health potions for all of this, but... Uh, yeah, I definitely didn't. I didn't bring enough bandages. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think that we'd be uh, taking a fight, or getting into a fight so quickly. But, let's... Uh, Get going with this. Oh wow. Hmm. Can we break that spawner from here? No, we cannot. Can we stop the spawner from here? Probably. <laughs> as soon as we deal with that spider. And, of course, because we lost the bauble that, uh, prevents us from getting poisoned. Guess what? We're getting poisoned. Okay. Can definitely deal with all these spiders. Um... I can just hear... Oh. Oh, yes. That's what we want. Equip that. There we go. Now we're immune to being poisoned. Haha, <laughs> suckers. That's right, Reaper. Get in here. Oh, uh, he gave us instability. Good done. Now this is like a must-have thing, right? When you go into these dungeons, you have to have um, 
extra blocks, so you can do just that, is block up all that stuff. Now, uh, this one is plus three attack. Yeah, I'll take this one, the one that we have on. Uh, we will get rid of that. What I wanted to check out, though, is... Okay, so in the nether, water just automatically disappears. Took quite a bit of damage there. We'll see if we can do one more floor. I'm not 100% sure if we can. All right, what are we dealing with in this room, I wonder? Zombies, obviously. And back out, backup has arrived. Ah. Uh. I forgot to fill up one of our canteens. I actually made two of them. But, I only brought one. Oh, no, sorry, I brought two of them. <laughs> and I didn't fill up either one of them. I just want to block these up. Come on. There we go. Grab what we can. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here for the moment that we really want. Um, and yeah, we got to get out of here before we die. We really should... Ooh, that's a... <laughs> I was about to say, that's a nasty sound. Alright, we're back in here. Let's do this. Back up to the floor. But so we were just at this floor. Just make sure there's no more holes. The thing we gotta worry about is uh, stuff floating around on the outside here. Like that guy. Did he just teleport away? That's cheating. Alright. <laughs> so many zombies, so little time. Okay. Need to do something about our zombie problem here. Now we gotta watch these rare, uh, rare mobs that spawn in. They do have the potential, to, uh, I think I've shown you guys many a time, to take your weapon away from you. There's a blighted one there. I think there's a glitch somewhere. <laughs> or a hole. <laughs> Just so many zombies, that's hilarious. And they found another hole? Man, you guys are a pain. I 
I just need to heal for like two seconds. Leave me alone. <laughs> so I did bring some uh, uh, water canteens. So we'll see how well they work for us. Uh, and we'll just really quickly put all the stuff that... You know, I, mean, I know we're picking up a lot of random stuff, but we'll just put it all in our backpack. Okay, where's the hole that they found? Right there. Oops, I just threw our sword. Really gotta watch that. I, I should really change the key bindings for that. Um, to get rid of stuff, right? Oh, I just did it again. Uh, what did I throw away? Sorry, one second. I think I threw our pickaxe away. I did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now this is when you need a weapon that has a leech on it. They got me stuck. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, so I made it all the way to the top of this tower, but I did not finish it. Um, when I got to the top of the tower, something weird's going on, I think, and there was a ton of zombies up there. And there still probably is, uh, we will see, though. Yeah, they're still up there. So hopefully, maybe if we're lucky. Okay. Now, from my understanding, this is like where everybody wants to build a base. In the nether, like on the top side of it. That way nobody, I guess, yeah, no mobs spawn up here. I'm not 100% sure. Never really been on this side of it. Um, yeah, definitely empty. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's open this up. Really? I climbed all the way to the top of this tower, died like three times for this. An iron shovel and leather boots. What a rip. But I guess if this becomes beneficial. I just don't know how this, in a sense, becomes beneficial. I guess I'll have to look into it. Because obviously when you're out here, like how do you get back down into the nether? You don't, right? Because this is bedrock. So, hmm. Unless I guess you had found another tower like this somewhere else in the world. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, actually, while we're here, I want to see something. Okay, so there, we have the nether. Now, when we go back home, I want to see if it's uh, kind of the same. Okay, there is mobs that spawn up there. Yeah, yeah I hear you. So this tower was actually... Uh... Versus... The overworld, I guess you'd say. I don't want to hit him. I was so tempted to. But, uh, yeah, versus, like, um, what we see on in the normal world, I guess. Or whatever you want to say. Um, this, this dungeon is definitely a lot harder. It had a lot more mob spawners, or spawners in it. And the spawners, or the things that were, did spawn, were a lot, uh, more difficult to deal with, I guess. Because there was a couple of, uh, uh, creeper spawners in here. See, that thing is doing such a good job. It hasn't, uh, I can't say it's been perfect, but I think 
if we were to, the location is where it's sitting is not great um it seems to because they're behind the door there uh things on this side they don't really see all that often or attack so i think if you were to move it somewhere right here it would definitely work a lot better and uh you know what to be honest for the nether it'd almost be beneficial to have two of them two of them going so that you have you know it, uh, it doesn't really matter how much lag it created if if it created any for you but yeah I would, I would like to and i think we will in the future have at least two of these going oh that's a cinder okay something hit us okay I guess you have to really pick which mobs you really want to use or uh, what you want to spawn in. Okay, let's just move it right now. Do I have any? I have a very little. I think we're going to go with the Aegis. And obviously if you have two of these, yeah, then they'll... So <laughs> you can make your you, yeah you can make a choice and uh, have them you know combine together to make something right um, like we just made that specter there okay need to go back home enough of this deadly area <laughs> uh, I but yeah like I said I am going to create a second one we are we will put one uh, two up there. Um, just to make sure that that portal is protected at all times. As soon as we walk through, there might be battling going on, but it's not affecting us at all. So what did we really get there? You know, we got a bunch of weapons. You know, some of these the weapons aren't great, but the the enchants that it has, some of them have, are pretty good. Um, protection three. I did find mending on something. Cooling, magic protection two, lesser sharpness four, mending right there. So we did get that. Um, sharpened two is not bad. Better than some other stuff. Hmm. Yeah, but f overall, like nothing like seriously wowing, right? Um, I did create this weapon. To go back in uh once i died like the second time i was like okay well we need something with uh, leech on it created this the uh what is it the um, the head i guess you'd say of the the sword or the hilt um is a darkling skull and it just it it was working it was leeching life but it's just it just wasn't dealing enough damage we now know kind of what to do to protect ourselves while we're in there right but um, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.